Um, like I said, me and Dax were real close. Um, came into college with each other, so it was definitely real hard. Um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely gonna check up on him again. Probably gonna stop by the crib. You know, definitely check up on him though. How hard is it for a guy to make that transition, go from safety to outside corner, the way that he did it and the time span that he did it? Uh, I mean, it, it's not done. I don't, I don't know anyone that's done it in the NFL. I don't, it's not done. So I mean, he's he did something that's basically I don't know has been done, and uh, you know, I did it well. So you know, I definitely hate to see that happen. Well, Jay, do you just look at this as an, another challenge for this secondary to overcome? It seems like you guys have had a lot of transition, a lot of change in that secondary already. Yeah, I mean, we just got to, you know, just gotta keep going. Um, I said the whole time we're going to need everybody, and so we need everybody, and, you know, we just got to keep on going. What was it like stepping up for him in that role and, you know, playing out, going from, you know, playing outside yesterday? Uh, you know, I mean, I've done it before, so, I mean, I just stepped in. And just, there's nothing to it. The end of last season to now, and kind of how you kind of go about the game and how you played and, and all of that. Definitely a lot. Um, from year one and year two, you definitely game slows down and stuff. So definitely is a difference from hitting the field last year and right now. As a unit, how do you guys kind of pick up without Dax? I mean, we just gotta keep going. I mean, we just gotta, like I said, just keep going. I mean, we definitely hate that happens. Definitely gonna check up on him. Um, you know, he's on do rehab and everything, surgery stuff like that. But as secondary, we gotta keep going. I mean, we got the Giants coming up, so, you know, they don't care. So, you know, we got to keep going. What did you learn about the secondary from this game against Baltimore? Uh, I mean, no, we just got to keep playing, keep competing. Uh, we're gonna, we hit the film, focused on it, and, you know, we're going to improve on it going into this week. What's the biggest thing for this team, kind of where it needs to be uh, after what you all have done the last just couple of years? Just come together as one. Biggest thing I can say, just come together as one, and we'll get it done. Can you guys go through some of the stuff? Does it feel easily fixable, or does it feel like there's a lot of bigger stuff that you guys got to it's fixable. Yeah. It's fixable. We're going to come together as one, and we, it's fixable. It's all stuff that we that's happened, that's been given up. We look on the film, and we know it's fixable. It's, we never look at something, and it's like, I don't know what we can do there. So we can always look at it, and it's, it's fixable. I know there's no excuses for you guys. You guys don't operate like that. But you look at a team like Washington, like Baltimore, man, they score points on everybody. Is it, do you look at it as a high degree of difficulty that, man, we had some big tasks in front of us, too, wasn't it? No. Nah. So I mean, yeah, but no. I mean, we, like I said, we watched the film and we know what we should have did. So yeah. that that's just is what it is with it. There's nothing else to it. Yeah. What was the message from the coaching staff today? Saying one thing I've been saying, just we gotta keep going, and we watch the film. We know what we gotta fix. We're gonna fix it.